What's going on guys? My name is Noah and this is Broken Arrow Bison. Subscribe if you're not already, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think. In the last video we asked the question, how long does it take for a newborn calf to be able to run with its mother? And that answer is about 30 minutes. I heard of that happening before I had my buffalo and I was able to actually witness it. It was really, really cool to see. About 30 minutes after one of my calf was born, he was in a full sprint out with his mother. Really, really cool to watch. It just shows you how hardy they are and their adaptability. So what we got going on today is we have all the corners of the fence welded up and they're all ready to go and we're going to be running some wires and then uh, running all the t-posts. We got to be putting the insulators on all the t-posts, insulators on all the corners. We already have our gates hung. So we're about a week away from getting buffalo. We're really excited here and we're excited that you are able to join us on this journey and we look forward to showing you guys a little bit more about what it takes to raise buffalo. The wind is insane out here today. They say it's 30 mile an hour wind with 45 mile an hour gusts. Where we live right here is, uh, it just gets a lot of wind. So I will do my best to keep the camera rolling and enjoy the video.
are set and ready for T-Post, what we're going to do is we're going to put T-Post 30 feet down the line. If there's any dips or anything like that, we'll compensate for that, put more or less. But in generality, we're going to try to put T-Post about 30 feet apart. So we got it done. We we're finally finished. I wasn't able to get a lot of the footage that I really wanted to on this fence just because it started storming like crazy. The wind was crazy. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have a waterproof camera. So I will show you a little bit of what we did. So what we did is we connected this top one down to this, the uh, third from the top, and then from here, down to the second from the bottom and the second from the bottom to the bottom actually. So we made a six strand. So the two bottoms are hot. Center is gonna be a ground and then you got hot again, ground and hot. Um, we've got our charger set up, just kind of a temporary setup because we're gonna be redoing this pasture here but um, this will allow me to just energize this, get this ready for the buffalo, and then uh, I can move on to the next pasture and I'll move my energizer box. So the way I set these up is I take and I put a thing of high tensile all the way from this corner down here up to the top. And what that does is the geometry of that, when this fence is pulling this way, it's going to be pulling on that top going that way, which is in turn gonna go down and trade that stress to the corner here. You're wanting this whole brace to be acting as like a block to be pulling in one sink instead of actually just kind of tilting. So we've got six stands set up. We've got all the T-posts. Um, this isn't a big pasture by any means. It's probably, I haven't measured it, but I would guess uh, maybe seven or eight acres, but it's going to be plenty for just the few animals we're going to start out with and we're going to be expanding very very shortly. So we're glad you were able to join us. Um, looking forward to the next video. We will actually be purchasing buffalo. We're going to be going out to the Missouri Bison Association sale in Butler, Missouri and we're going to purchase um, depending upon what we see somewhere between three and and four or five animals. So some of you may have heard of the name Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. He holds the largest YouTube channel related to buffalo and so he's actually going to be coming out and doing a video on the purchase of our buffalo again. So I will leave a link in the description below to his YouTube channel. Like I said, Dusty with Cross Timbers Bison awesome guy and really looking forward to doing this video with him. I appreciate you guys joining us. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you thought and we'll see you next time. Whee!